Hey guys, welcome back to my Divine Timing Tarot. This reading is for Sagittarius for the month of May 2023. If this resonates with you, feel free to drop a comment down below and to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. Spirit and Guides, please connect me with Sagittarius in love and tell me what happened in Sagittarius's most recent love situation what's currently going on with sagittarius in love right now and the predictive outcome for sagittarius for the month of may 2023 last shuffle for sagittarius spirit and guides three cards what happened in sagittarius's recent past love situation what happened in sagittarius's recent past love situation okay we have the high priestess four of swords death card pisces scorpio i'm getting sagittarius energy as well what is currently going on in sagittarius's current love life What's currently going on in love for Sagittarius right now, Spirit? What's currently going on with Sagittarius in love right now? Judgment, Eight of Cups, Eight of Wands. <clears throat> and what's going to be the predictive outcome for Sagittarius's love life for the month of May? 2023 predictive outcome ten of pentacles four of wands the world we have all the elements here on the table all right Sagittarius I feel in the recent past there was a lot of silence between you and someone I feel like you had to take a break here there was a break taken I feel like there was this person was there was a they were very secretive is what I'm getting but I feel like there was a lot of like there was a lot of silence here is what I'm getting like I want to clarify clarify the high priestess for Sagittarius spirit clarify the high priestess for Sagittarius please tell me about the high priestess spirit Yeah, the Six of Pentacles. I feel like you didn't know that this person wasn't as invested as they claim to be. For some of you, this person, there's, it could have been something to do with their finances as well. Maybe their finances was not all that great as they claimed it to be. But I'm getting almost a wishy-washy energy from this person. Like, I'm getting that this person, like, things were just, un they weren't equal. They weren't balanced between the both of you. Whether whether it was one person putting in more effort than the, uh, the other or one more invested than the other, it was imbalanced here with that Six of Pentacles Six of Pentacles, like this person could have been breadcrumbing you. Maybe they barely even spoke to you. They barely reached out to you. And I feel like you you were, you just wanted to, you know, take a break with that Four of Swords. I feel like you could have gone silent on this person. You could have just ignored them. Tell me about the Four of Swords for Sagittarius. The Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you took a break here. You could have, some of you could have ignored this person, blocked this person, or just taken, you know, a step back. And you were just trying to work on whatever, whatever it is, projects, priorities, uh, your life, re rebuilding your life again, just focused on rebuilding, restructuring things. Whatever that may be to you. And I feel like ultimately that led to an ending here. 
Clarify the death card for Sagittarius. The king of cups. I feel like there were still feelings there. There were feelings. But again, I felt like this break just only led to an ending. I feel like there's a lot of silence here. Is what I'm getting. And yeah, ultimately it led to an ending. Um, right now, Sagittarius, I feel like you're really... You're making some sort of uh, decision with the judgment card. And I feel like this decision is to walk away from something. But I feel like you're... Because you have the Eight of Cups and the Eight of Wands. So it's like you're walking towards something that is going to move forward for you. Something that is going to make you make something that some sort of progress is what I want to say clarify the judgment card for Sagittarius spirit and guides tell me about the judgment card you're making this sort of decision to work on yourself right now to be single to really you know maybe get your finances in order Take more well care of yourself, work on your, you know, your self-confidence, just really pamper yourself and just work on what everyone's different, you know, so whatever that may be. Clarify the eight of cups for Sagittarius spirit. Yeah, you're walking away. You have the knight of pentacles with the ten of cups. You're, you're, you're taking things slow, moving forward. You're walking towards your happiness. You're walking to emotional fulfillment. You're walking towards success and happiness. And you're really going to take your time getting there. You're not rushing, but you're taking your time. But I feel with that Eight of Wands, there's something moving quite fast for you. Let me see. Clarify the Eight of Wands for Sagittarius. Clarify this Eight of Wands spirit and guides for Sagittarius. Clarify the Eight of Wands, please, for Sagittarius. The Lovers, Gemini energy. I feel like you guys are going to meet your soulmate. Some of you, there could be someone slowly. I feel like there is someone slowly coming in. I feel like you haven't met them yet, though. They're slowly coming in to approach you. And this, I feel with that lover's card, it's like a very strong connection. And I feel like when this person does come in, things are going to move pretty fast. I feel like you're going to know it's almost like you're destined to meet this person. Like It's like your other half, your soulmate, somebody that... You're going to just have so much in common with this person. You're going to know like this person was the right one for me all along. Somebody knew. In the month of May, you have, a, you have great energy, Sagittarius. You might meet this person if some of you are traveling. You might be traveling to see this person. This person might be traveling to see you. But I'm getting a lot of, I'm getting something about a lot of stability coming in for you in terms of money. I feel like there's something worth committing towards for long term. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles for Sagittarius. What is this Ten of Pentacles? The Three of Pentacles. You're going to be really planning towards the future is what I'm getting. Towards a very stable future. I wonder if you're going to meet this person while traveling or this person just lives at a distance from you. Whether you meet them even online, whatever the case may be. Maybe this person is 
in a like on a business trip wherever you live and that's how you meet them but i feel like they live at a distance from you but i feel that you know there's there's commitment coming in for you there's something very stable coming in for you you might even make plans to travel with this person clarify the four of wands spirit for sagittarius tell me about the four of wands the eight of swords I feel as if though you're going to want to work, you're going to you're going to want to you're going to want to cooperate with this person and talk about long term. And what I'm getting is that in as far as the commitment goes, I feel like you do want a commitment, but you're not going to jump into one too soon. I feel like you're it's like you don't you don't know what you're truly getting yourself into, so you you might just not make I feel like you're not going to make any sort of quick decision. You're kind of going to be in, in, it's like your mind is kind of keeping you stuck. Like this is good for you. I'm seeing that this is great for you, but at the same time, it's like, you're not going to fully give into it either. Clarify the world spirit and guides, the tower, Scorpio energy. I feel like you're not going to expect that things are going to turn out successful. I don't see the tower as being something wrong here at all. I feel like the tower, it's like this is a new chapter, a new cycle that's going to start for you guys in the month of May. And, you know, maybe things, you know, maybe you might feel like your life is a bit chaotic at the moment. But... I feel as if it's going to be successful. I feel like this sudden change is going to work in your favor. Give me one more on the world with the tower. The empress. Yeah, a lot of growth here. A lot of growth in this situation. And a lot of respect is what I'm getting. This person's going to really admire you and respect you. They're going to make you feel good about yourself. They're going to, I'm getting a strong sense of respect is what I'm getting. That's what I have for you guys. Hope it resonated and I'll see you guys again.